All right, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel if this is your first time here, and if it's not, then welcome back. So today, I'll just be taking you through the process of downloading Norton on your iPhone and a brief overview of the features you can find there. But before we get into that though, if at any point throughout this video you want to try out Norton for yourself, you can simply head down to the description below and nab yourself a free 7-day trial of any Norton product available for all your devices. Now before we actually use the app, I just want to show you one thing, which is the product key that you will need in order to activate your subscription. All you need to do is head to your Norton homepage, go to the top right where it says My Account, find Account Settings in the drop down menu, and then head over to the My Subscriptions tab on the left side. And there you will see your product key. Save that for later though, since we will need it. So first things first, when you're on your home screen, you gotta head over to the App Store. Then you go to the search bar on the far right here and then type Norton. It should be the first result to pop up. Then you tap on it and hit download. When it's done doing that, you can go ahead and open it up. From here, you have two options. If you haven't purchased Norton already, then you can do that, but I'm going to assume that you already have it, meaning you have your login details. So in this case, you press redeem a subscription. You have a variety of ways to log in depending on how or through which platform you signed up with, but what we're going to do is sign in with our Norton accounts. Once you're done with all that, you'll be greeted with the home page where you have a few things on display. There's the security section that delves into the device security feature that alerts you about threats to your device, which I should probably fix after this video. The internet security allows you to set up your VPN and safe web, which basically warns you about potentially harmful sites. The LifeLock Identity app is also another thing you can download that monitors leaks for your personal info, like your bank account, address, identity, and so on. Just keep in mind that some of you may not have this feature depending on the plan that you bought. Lastly is the individual VPN setup, which is where you'd otherwise have access to your VPN, so you'd head over here when you need to use it. Everything else here just gives you an overview of what Norton has scanned and potential threats to your device that it has identified. And now let's talk about that product key. So at your main interface, you're going to see in the top left three bars. What you got to do is press on those three bars and then you will see another menu or section, I suppose, where it says subscription under the My Accounts. You tap on that and for you, it should say inactive. So what you basically got to do is press on that and then it will give you an opportunity to input your product key and you've essentially activated your product and you're good to go. So I really hope that helped you guys out. And if you have any more questions for me, then don't don't hesitate to ask. Also, if you want to try on Norton for yourself, don't forget that you can check out that free 7-day trial that is still down in the description. We've also got more video tutorials to help you understand Norton Antivirus, so if you like what we do here and want to help us out, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on future uploads, and check out that like button to help get this video to people who also need it. As for now, that is all from me. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and until next time, take it easy.